Hello, it's Angela with Angela's Crafty Space. How is everybody today? I hope you're all well. Well, the other day I posted a video about my stamp organization and I had a lady request for me to show how I made it. And if I can find my little stamp book, I will show you what I'm talking about. Here we go. I knew it was right here. So it's this little stamp book right here where it opens up to one page and then that flips over. And then you have a center page and then two pages on this side with a back. And I made the back a pocket. So uh, right here. So I'm going to show how I made this. Now I use something a little bit out of the ordinary, so probably not a lot of people are going to have file folders this size, okay? And the size of these are, let's see, does it say it on here? No, it does not. But they're like, um, I want to say 15 and a half, yeah, 15 and a half or three quarter by nine to the top of here. So they're pretty big. So, um, you could also do this with 11 by 17 paper. It'll work the same way. You can just keep the extra length because the process is the same. So you're just going to score it into thirds, basically. So what I do is, um, to get my third mark is I kind of play with it, you know, like this until I kind of get it to where I want it, right? Or you could do the math. I mean, if you're the doing the math kind of person. Um, so, almost have it here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, yeah, that's good. All right, so then I just go up like that, and then what I'm gonna do is score it so I have a straight fold. So I'm just gonna see like where it's closest to, because my folds are never straight. <laughs> All right, there we go. So now, and you could just pinch the top too, that would work as well. So basically what you want, here's my score line right here. And what you want is about maybe a quarter of an inch in. This way you're not overlapping, you know, when you go to fold it and it folds well. Okay. So, yeah, basically that's it. So you take this, you fold it into thirds. And then unfold it. Then how you get your two pages is you just cut the bottoms of this panel your third panel and your first panel. You're just gonna cut to the score. Okay, you're gonna cut here to the score. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. Now this is how I do it. Now you could use your paper trimmer if you want. But what I do is I just take it and just cut it on the fold mark to the score. <clears throat> and then I flip it over and do it on the other side. Sorry if I'm not in camera for some of this. This is a very big piece of paper here. All right, so then let's fold it in half back, back in half, let's fold it back in half, and then into thirds, and now we have our pages. See? Now you have to make your choice if you're gonna cut this down like I did, I cut it down. Okay, I'm gonna show you how much I cut it down. So, I cut it down probably a good, I don't know, inch and a half, just to get all the tab parts off. So I cut it down to this line here is what I did, because I didn't want to keep the tabs on there because I didn't like the way it looked. So I think, oh, 
I think I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Some stamps flew out of my book because of the way I held it. I kind of flung it over there. <laughs> oh, gee. Yeah, so I am going to trim mine. So I'm going to take my paper trimmer. We're done with the scoreboard now. We just needed that to make our lines. So what I'm going to do is, and since my paper trimmer is not big enough, I'm going to make my first cut like this. So I'm only going through two and not everything. So I'm going to line it up with the bottom of that. Um, tab went right through it. Awesome. My trimmer is awesome. It's a Fiskars. It's a Fiskars trimmer. Not quite sure. I can try to find it on Amazon and put a link below, but I love this trimmer. All right, so there we go. Um, now we can decorate it and put our pockets in. But we have one step that we need to do more, and that is to glue these together so it's a book. So that's how we come up with the center pocket, because that's where we're going to glue. So we're going to glue down this side and down this side. And before you do that, before you press down, you want to make your pocket punch on your back piece. So where's my circle punch? Yeah, so make your punch for your pool on the back of it. Because this way you don't see it and you have you can put your stamps on the front center section like I did. All right, glue that down. Ah, uh, where's my bone folder? <clears throat> this is a We Are Memory Keepers. It's a bin, like a paddle bone folder, scraper, whatever you want to call it. All right, so there we go. So now we have our pocket on the back. I'm going to go ahead and ink that up. And then we have our pocket on the back, which is nice. And then we have our one, two, one, two, and our center. Very, very easy project. Um, but I also wanted to show you how to make it with your standard size file folder as well. Okay, this one has a little bit more waste. Okay. Um, but works the same way and maybe somebody can kind of come up with a different method for doing this, maybe where you could come up with more pages or something, but I thought about it and thought about it and thought about it and I couldn't. So sorry guys, I couldn't think of anything fancy for you, but basically what you're going to do is fold these in half. Okay. So real simple. You're just going to take this whole file folder and fold it in half. Now you could make a skinnier book and fold this into thirds. That is another possibility, okay? But you're not gonna get very many stamps in there. So I was trying to think of a way, for one, to utilize our pockets. So see, this fits perfect on the pocket. This won't. Okay, so that's another reason why I'm doing it this way. Because our clear plastic pockets <laughs> that everybody was in love with for the, uh, for the pockets in this book here. Um, the clear pockets, yeah. Bought them on Amazon. There's a link in my organization on my postage stamp video if you'd like. I'll also link it to this video as well. Um, I do earn a small commission when you use my link, so I really appreciate it <clears throat> when you do. Okay, so then we're going to fold this one in half as well. And then we just stick them together, basically. Okay, so 
Now, I don't like the way this looks. You might like it. So you're going to leave yours like that, whatever. But I'm not. But I want to show you what to do next. Okay. Same process. You're going to cut the bottom of this and this. So you're going to cut the bottom off of this number three and number one, just like you did before. So I'm going to open mine out and cut on the fold line to the center fold line. Okay. Same thing on this one. All right, now, so now we have our two pages, our two pages, right? But now we have all this in the center. So what do we do? What do we do? And I was thinking maybe we could do that, right? And make it three pages and then you would have two side pockets, but then you don't get very many. I mean, I think you get more pages that way. Hold on, one, two, three, four, one, two, five. This way you get one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so I, okay. So let's do it this way then. I'm gonna do it a little different. So we're gonna glue them together like this. <clears throat> so I think instead of making that a pocket two, I'm just gonna glue them. <clears throat> You can make it a pocket too if you want, then you would just glue here, here, and here to make a side pocket. Or you would glue here, here, and here to make a top pocket. Because this center one doesn't matter, right? So I'm just gonna glue mine together though because I'm already gonna have two side pockets, so I don't think it's necessary for me to have another pocket. I just won't use it. You know what I'm saying? So why put it? So, I mean, unless you just don't want to use as much glue. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to glue these two panels together. Now I'm cutting off the tops. Okay. So I'm not worried about it lining up at the top. All right. So now... We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages. Hold on, did I count that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pages to put stamps on. Whereas this one only had one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine pages. So we get one extra page. But that's cool. Not as as much waste. I mean, you are wasting this little bit here, you know, but there's really no way to get around it. So let me go ahead and glue the top or the side here. Wait, what do I want to glue again? <clears throat> Yeah, I want to glue this down. So I'm going to glue the side and the top. And I'm gluing it down a little bit because I'm cutting that off and I want to make sure it stays glued. <clears throat> All right. So now we have a pocket there. And... pocket here. Okay. Somehow this got glued a little bit, but that's okay. I just want to finish gluing it at the top here. So what I did technically is I made a side pocket and a side pocket. Two side pockets. I might have to glue those again. I'm not sure. 
All right, there we go with that one. I really like this idea with the two file folders. All right, cool, cool. Because the one that I made yesterday looked like this. There's my prototype. Is this it? This was my prototype I made last night. So I had one, two top pockets. And I kept the center hole and I just glued them together. So I had the two pages here, the center page, and the two pages here. And then I had two top pockets. So I do gain a page because you get two sides in the center now. That makes sense. All right, so we got our two center pockets, which is awesome. You can hold like envelopes or stamps that are on the paper maybe or <clears throat> whatever. Okay, so that is two ways to make a stamp organizer out of file folders and using these great pockets from Amazon. They're perfect. So if you are in the need to organize your stamps, go grab a file folder and make one real quick and then you can decorate yours with me. All right, so I'm gonna continue to use my Shabby Dabby Doodah stuff. Cause I just printed out a bunch more of her kits. These were from freebies that she has on her website. Sorry, my dog should stop barking any minute. I know, it's so annoying. Every time I do a video. All right. So these are from her freebie kit. So I was thinking I could do some collaging, maybe. That would be fun. These are just gorgeous. All these pages. I can't believe she gave these for free crazy very appreciative though thank you so much you are so generous really you are tina everybody's helping you and you're out there helping us with all these freebies all right so i'm gonna collage i think <clears throat> or do i want to just cover you know what let's cut it first down to size how are we gonna do this this time And try like this. I don't have to cut off as much on this one. There we go. Let's make sure we're still glued here. Alright, one, two. One, two. Okay, so I'm not glued here anymore. So I need to glue up right here. And over. Okay. Alrighty. center two pockets which I lost the, you know what maybe I'll keep that as like a tuck no it has to be a pocket I'm going to re-glue the top here as well because this I cut this off oh nope, no nope, don't glue that you'll glue your pocket shut love as Margaret would say don't do that love I like that. She shows her self-respect when she talks to herself. 
She calls herself love and sweet. <clears throat> well, don't do that, sweet. All right. Anyway. One. One, two. Two pockets. One, two. All right. We're done with this. Now let's, I do think I want a collage, so let me just grab a few stickers. I've never collaged on video before, I don't think, so this should be fun and interesting at the same time. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get ready here. Let me see what my time is. Ooh, we're already at 20 minutes. All right. Well, I have to make it fast now, won't we? All right. If I only had a tarot ruler. All right, let's do straight. That's fine with it. All right. So, what do I want on this? Definitely want this rose. little bit of ASMR for you with the tearing of the paper. I don't know. It's very calming to me. I love it. Hearing paper rip. Some people say it's like nails on a chalkboard. But not to me. It's not. Okay. We're going to do large piece collage because we don't have much time. I mean, I could always go longer. We'll see. Alright, I think I'm going to rip it, like, here. Okay. We want to put this somewhere else now. Alright. Then... Ooh, let's bring out some green with this one. I think I have two pages here. I know I have two pages here. No? Okay. This is just heavier paper, I guess. Oh, that works much better putting it that way. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is go down like that. Do we want it to go over the spine? Yeah, let's put it over. Right? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm ready to glue these two pieces on. And I'm just using Avery glue stick. This particular size is no longer available in the purple. You have to get this size if you want the purple, which is the 0.26 ounce. And it comes like this. Or the twist, you know, where the whole top is the lid. Um, so, and I don't mind that because I love the purple because I like to see where I'm putting the glue. Um, but I really liked it when they had this big size, 1.27 ounce, because they didn't run out as fast. Those little ones run out so fast. It's like as soon as I open it, I'm getting a new glue stick. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not too worried about getting glue on this because... <clears throat> It, um, it's going to get covered anyway, right? So, 
I don't want to get glue on the piece that I've already laid down though. <laughs> or have my piece stick to the glue that's already laid down. All right. Don't want it eaten. Let's pull it out a little bit. Wrapping it around. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty, Tina. What if we bring in some pink with this one? I'm leaning towards putting a piece of this bottom part, maybe. What, what about this? No, that's too much the same. But I don't think this is too much the same. So, let's see. Let's get these edges off. Or paper doesn't like to tear as easily. All right, so I want to do the bottom part, and I think I only want to do it like that, or do I want to do it like that? Yeah, I think I want to do it like that, and then I'm going to wrap around to the back. So how much of it do I want is the question. think I just want to there right there yeah. all right I need a glue book because I'm running out of space to glue be right back. Talk amongst yourselves for one second. I'm not going far. I'm just right behind here. Got some Reader Digest over there. They make great glue books. I think this one was used as a glue book already once. Whoop! Glue's running out. <laughs> I think we got one more. One more gluing, we, or a couple more actually, we can get out of this stick before we toss it. All right, let me put it this way. Okay, then we're gonna wrap it around. Beautiful. That is so pretty. All right, how can it not be pretty? It's got Tina's digitals all over it. Too much the same. Okay, let's get the glue book out of the way for a second. Let's see what else we want. This teal would be pretty right here. Or even this damask. Or the teal damask right here. Let's do a little piece of that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do like that. And then this will wrap around a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> I 
time, I don't have any problems with this glue stick not sticking. None whatsoever. And I have been using it for quite some time now with all my projects. And I have had zero complaints about things not sticking. And I have not experienced any thing not sticking either. So... So it is a definitely a good cheap glue, that's for sure. And it is cheap. It's for this big box, I think it has 18 little 0.26 glue sticks is like six bucks. And I'll put a link to that as well in my video if you'd like. I will um in the more information box. I'll put some of my Amazon affiliate links for you guys. I just signed up, so I'm excited. I want you guys to use them and enjoy supporting me a little bit without any extra cost to you. All right, let's see. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, look at this. I think I'm going to go with this bright pink right here. Yeah. Uh, okay. What do we want exactly? I don't want that because that looks like that. So I think I want to get maybe this middle part. I don't want the flowers in it. I love the patina on these pages, too. They definitely got some color on them over the years. It's, it's from exposure to sunlight, the coloring. Or the discoloring, as we should say. So we just have a little bit more collaging to do, so I will do another video and we'll finish collaging. It could be a couple more videos, um, but that was fun. So we've got a little bit on the back and a little bit on the front, back of the front page. Um, so yeah, we'll keep using Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodas printables, and I have some decorative items as well that we can decorate the front with. And then, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's see. I sat in my chair and my chair went to the floor. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's see. We've got these decorative items. I love this green frame right here with the gold around it and then we can write stamps on it inside the frame and wouldn't that be lovely wouldn't that be lovely I do think so
yes ma'am you're on to something with that and then I think we'll put some butterflies around it or maybe this bird with the banner down here let's do the bird with the banner <clears throat> this is the only page we get to decorate so because the rest is full of pockets 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 I needed another one of these anyway so I figured let me go ahead and just make one up real quick on video since I did get a request to make it and then I'll throw in a little decorating too while we're at it I know you guys have told me you like to watch the decorating. So, long day at work today. Man, it seemed like the day was never going to end today. Days like that, just, that drag on are exhausting. Oh, I couldn't wait to get to my craft room. Do a little fun crafting. So I said, I need to make that stamp book. So let me let me get on and get that done. So as soon as I got home, I turned the camera on and here I am. I want it there or there? There. That there and this here. It kind of blends though. I wish the bird was on the other side. Maybe we won't do the one with the bird. Let's try the one without the bird. I do like it. I just think that little hummingbird was um, blending too much. It was, it was disappearing. I feel like it could have a better purpose in its life than disappearing on the cover of this stamp book. just gave life to an inanimate object. It's all good. Like I said, it was a long day. All right. There we go. That's it. All right. Let's get these items glued on. I think this glue stick might have had it. Let's see if we can get any more out. Oh yeah, it's still coming out. It's the glue stick that never ends. And there's our cover. Beautiful. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. So we got a I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pages left to collage. This is gonna be fun. I might do some off camera and then just show you. Um, but I'll definitely do some more collaging on camera for you guys next time. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.